This tutorial will guide you through the basic setup of Chase Plane. To ensure you have the best experience, we'll need about 15 minutes of your time. Chase Plane allows you to back up your custom views and settings to the Parallel 42 cloud infrastructure. This will enable you to quickly restore your setup on a new computer or after a fresh install. Do you permit us to upload your content to the cloud for backup purposes? Chase Plane is a complete override of the default camera system in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It allows for powerful camera control, customization, and physics. This means that all your camera controls will now be assigned via Chase Plane instead of the Controls Options section of the simulator. But don't worry, we'll go step by step. Just like default, you can use the right mouse button to look around. You'll be able to adjust the speed in the Preferences section. Try it out now in the main sim view. We've already set up your keyboard with the default SIM camera bindings. Now, let's configure your primary controller for in-flight use. Focus on one for now, you can add more later, and even explore advanced bindings. Ready? Great! Make sure it's plugged in and let's start by binding some buttons for looking around. You can quickly look to the left or the right with quick look. The view returns to center when released. Choose keys or buttons now or skip ahead. Cinematics mode puts Chase Plane on autopilot, creating stunning cinematic shots without any input. Assign it to an easily accessible button, no need to have it on your primary flight controller. Let's assign a button to reset the camera to the saved position of the current view. This is helpful if you've manually repositioned the camera for whatever reason. You'll likely want this on your primary flight controller. Before moving forward, Let's ensure your assignments don't conflict with default MSFS bindings. We've compiled a handy cheat sheet to help you check. Click the button below or find it later in Preferences. Nice work! You've completed the basic controls. For more customization, head to the Preferences page. There you can assign additional functions and even add controllers, keyboards, stream decks, and more. You've mastered the basics. Consider that your high school diploma. Now, do you want a deep dive into the Chase Plane UI and features, or just a quick overview? Remember, you can always revisit this tutorial from the menu in the top left. Let's have a look at the Chase Plane user interface. Here you'll find internal and external views for your aircraft, along with world cameras, organized into three columns. We call these camera modes. Each one of them contains a list of views. You can also access cinematics mode and the menu from here. In the top left, you'll find the navigation menu. From here, you can quickly navigate to main pages of Chase Plane, such as groups, community, and preferences. Cinematics mode is a powerful feature to enjoy an aircraft in flight. Pushing this button or its assigned shortcut will start the show. Cinematics will automatically change between cinematic views, similar to an airline commercial. In preferences, you can also set cinematics mode to auto start when you are above 5,000 feet AGL and your sim is idle. There are three camera modes in Chase Plane. You can switch between them by clicking the title of each column or by using your assigned key. Didn't assign one? You can do so in Preferences, internal for cockpit, cabin, and onboard views, external for views that are either attached to or tracking the aircraft, world for any views that are not attached to the aircraft. Each camera mode includes a list of views. Switch between them by clicking a view or using your assigned button didn't assign one, you can do so in Preferences. Drone is what you'd expect, a drone cam. It is not attached to your aircraft or position. Use it to freestyle shots or explore your surroundings. You can also set a shortcut to enter the drone view in Preferences. Much like the drone view, you can set a shortcut to trigger the flyby view in Preferences. Tower view is here. Chase Plane will find the nearest tower based on available SIM data. Remember that not all airports have an accurate tower position. If it feels off, you can edit the view to adjust height or position and save it as a new world camera view. This section includes cameras at essential locations like runways, parking spots, and an overview shot of the airport. This makes parking, pushback, and taxi stages of flight a lot more fun. Select a view to edit by clicking the pencil button when it's active. This is the View Editor. Here you can modify properties of the selected view. 
All changes made on this page, with the exception of camera position, are saved automatically. Adjust the camera position anytime by using your control assignments or the adjust button here. When you're done, simply click the save position button to save the change. Set keyboard or joystick shortcuts to instantly access specific views. If the same shortcut is assigned to multiple views or groups, they will cycle. There are many options available to customize your view. A description is available under each one so you don't forget what they do. You can delete a view at the bottom of this section. Each view must be assigned to a camera group. Groups contain parameters like motion effects, camera physics, and more that will dictate how this view will behave. Camera groups help you organize and manage sets of views. For example, you might have one group for all your GoPro style views and another for human pilot views. While you can edit a group from this section, the preferred method to make changes is through the groups page directly. Here you can assign this camera view to a group and choose where it inherits its characteristics from. A view can only belong to one group. The groups page in the navigation menu allows you to manage all your camera groups. Here you can create new groups, edit existing ones, and delete groups you no longer need. When editing, you can customize group names, themes, and various motion and physics settings to suit your needs. To help you get started, we've created a few default groups that categorize common view types. These serve as a foundation for organizing your camera views. If you feel creative, you can easily create a new group on this page for any custom group you want to create. For example, you can create a fighter pilot group with stiffer motion or physics settings. Themes make groups easier to distinguish. Themes include an icon and a color used for visual organization. On the main page, the group color can be seen as a highlight on the left side of each view. Each group can have a title, description, shortcut, and shared physics settings for all its views. You can edit a group using the pencil icon. Remember that the same groups exist across all aircraft. Use clear names and add descriptions to keep groups easy to find. You can also click Edit Theme to change the group icon and color. Choose the type of camera for this group, human for first-person perspectives or mounted for fixed action-style cameras, etc. You can assign a shortcut to rotate through views in this group. Delete a group by hitting the Delete button, but caution, it will be gone forever. Any views within that group will be reassigned to a similar group in your collection. In this section, you can adjust how aircraft movement influences the camera's motion. Fine-tune motion effects here. These enhance the selected human or mounted physics with effects that aren't provided by the simulator by default. These suggestions will be presented to you when creating a new view in this group. Each default group already has a few suggestions to get you started but you can create more here. This is the community page. Here you can access views or groups created and shared by other Chaseplane users. You can search by name, username, or aircraft to find exactly what you need. On the left side, you will find filters to further refine the results. Finally, you can manage what you've shared with the community by clicking My Content. This is the Preferences page. Here you will find global settings for Chase Plane. The first section is about control assignments. Here you can assign shortcuts to various camera controls and Chase Plane functions. The second section is about mouse functions. Here you can adjust the behavior of various mouse functions in Chase Plane. Notably, you can set what mouse button you want to use to look around. Then, there is the Control Profile section. Here you can change the speed of camera controls for each camera mode. If you want to change cinematic settings, this is the place to do it. Auto Start is a popular feature. Think of it as a screensaver mode. Camera Behaviors contains various settings about specific behaviors of the camera system. You can configure automatic cloud backups or import and export manual backups here. Well done. You've completed Chase Plane University. Remember, you can always access this tutorial again from the Chase Plane menu. Now go make some custom views and welcome to Chase Plane.